If you haven't already watched the demo for try, catch, and error variable, do that first because they kind of got us to where we are here. So what I want to do now is actually log the failed computer name to a file. That's going to involve a little bit more work. First of all, I'm going to take out the error variable. Um, for this, I'm really not interested in what error occurred. I just want to log the computer name where the error occurred. So to do that, I need to go down here to my advanced function and add another parameter. And I'm going to make this one mandatory. And it's going to be a string, and it's going to be log file. And that's just going to accept a file name or a path. I need to make sure that's being passed through to my worker function, and that my worker function has somewhere to receive that information. At the beginning of the script, in other words, each time my advanced function runs, I want to try and delete that log file. That way I'm not continually appending um, and every single time I run this I get a fresh start. Now it's possible that the file won't exist when I try to delete it. Normally that would display an error message. I'm going to specify the error action silently continue. Because frankly if you couldn't delete the file then it didn't exist so mission accomplished because that file not existing was my goal in the first place. In my catch block is where I'll actually log that. So I'll take the computer name, pipe it to out file, to whatever log file name the user specified, and I'll ask it to append. If the file doesn't exist, then out file will go ahead and create it. If it does exist, it'll just append this computer name to whatever was already in the file. The upshot of this is every time I start this command, no matter how many computer names I gave it, the first thing it'll do is delete the file. Then it'll start processing the computer names one at a time, and any that fail will trigger my catch block, logging that file name to the log file. 